hello students today we will learn the topic light motor vehicles so as i have already told in the classification based on indian system so automobiles are classified in india as heavy motor vehicles light motor vehicles medium motor vehicles so these light motor vehicles are the vehicles whose gross weight is up to 7.5 metric tons so light motor vehicles have gross weight up to 7.5 metric tons so now to study about the specification of these light motor vehicles i have taken few examples the first among them is the hyundai accent so this is the car that is hyundai accent so how the specifications are done or how this car is specified we will study now so this car has four cylinder in line water cooled four stroke petrol engine so it is a four cylinder in line water cooled so here it is water cooled we had seen in two wheelers that they were air cooled so here it is water cooled four stroke so we know already about the strokes the petrol engine so this is a petrol car so it uses petrol as the fuel now the bore and the stroke so bore and stroke is seventy-eight and eighty-two mm respectively. So what is the bore? So I am repeatedly saying about bore and stroke, but I have not told you the meaning of this bore. So bore is nothing but it is the diameter of the cylinder. So there will be a cylinder in which the piston will be moving okay so this diameter of the cylinder is called as the bore then what is the stroke stroke is the distance within the cylinder which the piston travels so the distance within the cylinder so if this is the piston it moves up and down so this distance within the cylinder in which the piston is traveling is called as the stroke then cylinder capacity the cylinder capacity of this vehicle is 1527 cubic centimeter then the compression ratio so what is the compression ratio compression ratio is the ratio between the volume of the cylinder and the combustion chamber okay so this compression ratio for this hyundai accent is 11 is to 1 then the engine power engine power is 94 brake horse power at the rate of 5500 rpm that is revolutions per minute then what kind of lubrication system is used so lubrication system so here it is a wet sump 
with splash lubrication so this is the type of lubrication system which is being used in the engine then gearbox so gearbox is five speed synchro mesh type manual gearbox so when we study the details of this gearbox we will know what are the different types of gearboxes then the wheel base so already i have told you what is the wheel base so the wheel base of this car is approximately 2.5 meter then the total length of the car is 4.2 meter approximately then the width of this car so the length is measured like this width is measured like this so width of this car is 1.6 meter approximately now the ground clearance ground clearance of this car is 0 0.175 meter approximately so the ground clearance is nothing but the distance between the lowest frame of the car and the ground so this distance is called as the ground clearance so it is given as 0 0.17 meter then the brake system what kind of brake system is used so here disc type front brake even the types of brakes when we study them we will understand and drum type rear brake so there are two different types of braking system provided for the front brake it is disc type for the rear that is the back end brake it is the drum type then the steering system steering system of this car so steering system is rake and pinion power assisted even steering system we are going to cover in detail about these different types then the crab weight that is the weight or the mass of the car along with all the operating consumables so all motor oil lubricating oils transmission oils all the oils together along with the required components of the vehicle all the standard equipment of the vehicle along with the oils will give us the crab weight so crab weight of this car is 1 ton so this is about hyundai accent car the next example which i have taken is tata indica vista so this car is tata indica vista so why i have taken two different cars because i wanted to give example for both petrol as well as diesel engine so this tata indica vista is a diesel engine car so here this is also a light motor vehicle whose weight is less than 7.5 tons so here it is a four stroke that is four cylinder so there are four cylinders in the engine and it is in line water cooled so cooling system here used is the water cooling system and it is a four stroke diesel engine okay and it has a common rail direct injection so what kind of diesel engine it is it is a common rail 
direct injection that is CRTI the bore and the stroke so bore and stroke I have already told you what it means bore is the diameter of the cylinder and stroke is the distance within the cylinder which the piston is traveling so the bore and stroke here is 75 and 80 mm respectively then the cylinder capacity the cylinder capacity is 1250 cubic centimeter then we have the compression ratio compression ratio is 9 is to 1 the engine power of this car so the engine power is 75 horsepower at 4000 rpm the what kind of lubricating system or lubrication system is used for this car so the lubrication system which we are using here is wet sump with splash then gearbox so even here the gearbox used is same as that of the petrol engine which was used in the Hyundai accent 5 speed synchro mesh type manual gearbox then the wheelbase wheelbase is 2.5 meter approximately then what is the length of this car length is 3.8 meter approximately then we have width width is 1.6 meter so it is smaller when compared to the Hyundai accent then the ground clearance so ground clearance is same for even this car so the ground clearance is 0 0.175 meter approximately what kind of braking system is used brake system used here is ventilated disc type front brake and drum type rear brake then the steering system used here is same as that of Hyundai Accent that is the rake and pinion power assisted. The last that is the crab weight is 1150 kgs. So this is about the Tata Indica Vista car. The next one, it is a very old model. Okay, we will study about this old model car, which was very very famous back in the 1980s. So this is Maruti 800. Maruti 800. So this car has three cylinder so usually the cars have four cylinder which are newly made but here it was three cylinder in line water cooled four stroke 
petrol engine so this is the description of the engine now the bore and the stroke so by studying this we can understand how the old cars were formed and what are the changes which we are making in the new cars which are running now so bore and stroke is 75 and 80 mm respectively so bore and stroke is almost same then cylinder capacity so cylinder capacity is 800 cubic centimeter which is very less when compared to new cars whose cylinder capacity goes up to 1500 cubic centimeter okay the cylinder capacity of maruti 800 is less then the compression ratio compression ratio is 8.7 is to 1 so here compression ratio is also less the engine power so you can see the engine power is 40 brake horsepower at 5500 rpm then lubrication system what kind of lubrication system was used for this maruti 800 so here even old times also they used wet sum with splash kind of lubrication system then the gearbox used so here they used a five speed Synchro mesh, synchro mesh type manual gearbox, which is same for even the Hyundai Accent and as well as the Indica Vista car. Now the wheelbase. So for almost all cars, this dimensions are same. So it is two point five meter then the length length is 3.8 meter the width of this car is 1.6 meter approximately then the ground clearance is same for all the cars so the ground clearance is 0 0.175 meter approximately then we have the brake system the brake system is ventilated disc type front brake and drum type rear brake so almost in all cars we can see the rear brakes are drum type only then the steering system steering system is also same that is rake and pinion power assisted crib weight 1150 kgs then the next type of car which we will study here is honda city so honda city the specification of this honda city car so this is also a four cylinder in line water cooled four stroke petrol engine bore and stroke of this engine is 75 and 84 mm respectively then the cylinder capacity 
cylinder capacity is 1500 cc that is cubic centimeter then we have the compression ratio that is 10.3 is to 1 then the engine power is 100 brake horsepower at 6500 rpm then the lubrication system here is same for all the cars that is the wet sump with splash the gearbox used here is 5 speed synchro mesh type manual then even automatic gearbox may also be used here so manual or automatic gearbox but it must be a 5 speed synchro mesh type only then we have the wheel base so the wheel base is 2.5 meter then the length length of this car is 4.2 meter approximately the width is 1.6 meter then the ground clearance is 0.175 meter approximately then the brake system so what kind of brake system is used brake system is disc type front brake and drum type rear brake then the steering system used here is the steering system is rake and pinion power assisted then the crab weight crab weight is 1 ton so this is about the light motor vehicle so here i have taken four examples of different type of cars and we have discussed the type of engine and the different specification considerations which we have to take for specifying this light motor vehicles so i hope you have understood the topic thank you